Hello, Matt with Drobo, and I'm here to present a demo of SSD performance within the B1200i. First, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a B1200i configured in all hard disk configuration. So here we see in my unit, I have 12 7200 RPM drives of various sizes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a benchmark to show a, a baseline performance in an all hard disk configuration. As I bring up my benchmark, go ahead and start that. What we'll see here in a second is we should get somewhere in the realm of about 800 to 900 IOPS. Oh, it comes up, here we go, about 860 IOPS. Pretty great performance out of an all hard disk configuration. But when uh, talking about IOPS, each hard disk is good for about 75 IOPS. With two, mine is configured in dual drive redundancy, so that's pretty great performance out of an all hard disk configuration. This is a great configuration for smaller environments, you know, a small business that needs maybe a, a number of virtual machines, maybe a back end storage for your line of business software. But for some environments, you're going to need a little higher performance, and that's where those SSDs come in. So I'm going to go over and look at my B1200i with SSDs. So here, you see I have a mix of both. Uh, 7200 RPM drives, as well as some SSDs in the unit. And if we look down here in the bottom left-hand corner of my dashboard, you're going to see that transactional tier is active. With the B1200i, when we add those SSDs, we're going to automatically create a second tier of data, the transactional tier, and it's utilized for our more transactional data. When we say transactional data, uh, we're going to say our higher IOP data. With this, you know, if maybe it's going to be your SQL servers, your exchange servers, or maybe your virtualization where you need that higher number of IOPS. So when we talk about IOPS, you know, what are IOPS? IOPS are inputs and outputs a second, transactions a second, or in layman's terms, we'll call it the CPU processing power of the unit. So if we uh, uh, think about that, we're talking about maybe backups. You know, we need IOPS, we don't need anywhere near as many as we need for uh, more transactional loads like those SQL or exchange servers. So we look here, we add those SSDs, we create that second tier of data, and what we're going to do is look at your data in flight and make a decision as to how transactional it is. More transactional, going over to those SSDs for their high IOP and read performance, and then bulk tier for that uh, less transactional data. But we're going to reassess that every few minutes and then move data between those two tiers. The nice part is you can also add those SSDs later. Maybe you outgrow an all hard disk configuration as your uh, data requirements expand. Well, put in those SSDs and you have a great upgrade path there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up my uh, uh, benchmarking tool. It's called Iometer. It's a pretty common tool in terms of hard disk benchmarking. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about our, our benchmark suite here. So I'm going to simulate 4K file reads. So this is going to be very small blocks of data read as 100% uh, random, random and 100% uh, read. So this is going to be as fast as I can possibly read very small blocks of data or very transactional data. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, start up that benchmark, and I would expect to go ahead and see a much higher uh, performance here. So in a second, it'll fire up. There we go. So 2100 IOPS. So we have nearly three times the IOPS performance of an all hard disk configuration. So it's a huge boost in performance over those uh, hard disks. So with that, combining those two technologies, what we're going to give you is really the best of both worlds. We're going to give you both high transactional performance as well as very high capacity.